Wherever you are in Southeast Asia, you find huge limestone hills. We call them karsts. And yet we know very little about their biodiversity. But every single one of those can have species found nowhere else in the world. Just that one hill. That one hill that might be the size of your house. And when you have that amount of biodiversity and we know so little about it, I mean, a projected 90% of invertebrates in caves in China are undescribed, you have a huge problem when it comes to conservation. Bats fulfill a lot of interesting worlds, as well as being keystone to cave ecosystems, they also do many other important things. So for example, bats are essential pollinators. They're essential seed dispersers, so in deforested landscapes like this one, they could spread seeds across the area and help in reforestation. And they're also important pest controllers. But we know very, very little about them. So what we do is we use a collection of measurements, photographs of things like the nose leaf, which is very important, and also DNA, so that we can correctly identify the species and we know what's there. And the bats themselves are absolutely fascinating. Most people don't realize they're the second biggest group of mammals on Earth. There's about 1,400 or so known species. So a lot more than there are humans. And they're not flying rodents. They're actually much closer in terms of um, relationships and um, phylogeny to things like the horses and the dolphins. During my first field work in last June 2018, uh, we went to uh, several caustic places and that place has never been visited before. So we found eight new population of Hemiphylodactylus, one genus of the geckos. So we assume that those species are our new species since not much research has been done. So yeah, uh, we need to assess it more. And I think in the future we will discover more about the new species. So far that I know, lots of researchers attracted to study about big mammals like tiger, elephants, and rhinos. So I think it's quite unfair for the small animals like bats and then other species like reptiles, amphibians, invertebrates, since they are very small. So we, as um, the one who really has the patience to about those animals, the small animals, so we need to study them very well. So we can also give our voice for them. Maybe we can save the cast and stop it being turned into a cement mine by making it a tourist cave. But perhaps we can only put part of the cave as a tourist cave and we can use lighting that has um, a radiance that is less likely to make plants grow and that only triggers when people actually pass it. Fatasa 就决定了跟跟这个都慢慢就少了不是这就是一生动物你说生态嘛像这些大树了什么千年古树了这些也是生人的什么它不可能变动产你人肯定有一部分的影响它的生长<音><音>